Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Gensler, it's good to have you. I want to start out today and talk about equity market structure as a, as a topic. Uh, just yesterday, Congressman Foster and I sent you a letter signed by 16 Democrats and 16 Republicans to express our concerns about the equity market structure proposals that the Commission uh, has initiated. The letter urges you quite simply to stop your rulemaking on that broad set of proposals until you finalize the trade execution data rule, uh, the so-called 605 data rule, and that that be done first so that you can rely on that data for a, an appropriate uh, rulemaking. And this speaks to Mr. McHenry's point about the interplay between the rules which, uh, contrary to the ranking member, I think there are 50 pending proposals. Many of them interact. Uh, they are confusing and sometimes in conflict with each other, and I think this is a classic example. And I think it's particularly true where you're failing to do a rigorous cost-benefit analysis for many of the rules. For instance, the SEC's dealer proposal, which uses the word uncertain 15 times, to describe its impact on efficiency and competition for the most important financial market in the world, U.S. Treasuries. So, uh, Mr. Chairman, I would just say uh, this is not MAGA Republicans that are sending you a critical letter of concern. It's a very bipartisan view, 32 members of this body that think the SEC should reconsider. Would you wait for the Rule 605 data before you finish the other equity market proposals? Um, I, I thank you for the letter. I did read it last night around 9.30 when it came in. And uh, it's part of our comment file. We'll take it and, and think of it very seriously. But I would say in terms of the uh, equity markets, the rules have largely not been updated since 2000. That may be, but that, that means that we need to do it in a comprehensive way, in an interoperative way, but make sure we have the right data. So I'll take your short answer is no, that it's a comment. But I really urge you to get... Uh, uh, these equity markets cr uh, proposals in order and to rely on data and not just uh, uh, emotion or one meme stock event uh, to make policy. Let me change subjects. Let me talk about my favorite uh, kitty cat, which is the cat consolidated audit trail. For over a decade, this bad idea has been floating around the commission since the flash crash in 2010 to collect and store private personal information on every American in every American with a brokerage account at every broker dealer. In my view, this is a massive overkill. This is unnecessary invasion of privacy. This is a massive new tax on the brokerage account of individual American citizens. And maybe worst of all, considering the nine years I've been here, this is another massive centralized government database that's going to be hacked, like the IRS, like the CFPB, like OPM, and so uh, I've got real concerns about it, and I continue to express those for Mary Jo White, uh, for Mr. Clayton, and now for you. In fact, you inherited this albatross. Why don't you just bury it and say that we're not going to do the cat? Um, though I inherited not only from them, but I inherited from my dad a real allergy to cats, and it's real. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Um, well, we don't have time for that. I'm reclaiming my time. Uh, we can have a cat visit. Uh, we can do the kitty part later. Do you know what a targeted exam letter is by the FINRA? Do you know what that is? I'm, I'm familiar with exam letters. Yep. And do you know what a blue sheet is? Uh, sir, I'm, I'm generally familiar. I don't know where you're headed, but I'm generally familiar. And so, and you know that all of our markets have regular daily, interday, overnight global market surveillance on trading, right? That's a general feature of all of our SROs, right? Do you agree with that? Uh, SROs are responsible to do that, sir. Yeah, I understand that. And you regulate the SROs. So what I'm suggesting to you is there's no justification for capturing all these trades when you have right now market surveillance data available to uh, enforcement division. And you can right now do a sweep exam through a blue sheet, which is where you go to large traders and you look at everybody who traded in Apple you can get all the PII you want because you have a probable cause for doing that. And that's why CAT, I think, exceeds what you should be doing. Why is the blue sheet targeted exam process inadequate for you to do your job? So I think you raise a good question, but the, the consolidated audit trail gives the self-regulatory organizations and the SEC a look at those orders and matches up sometimes. They've got the cross. ability to do that now. They don't need to capture everybody's trade in every retail brokerage account in America. Mr. Chairman, I yield back.